gonna make you a world with these two hands today Put our love, memories and laughs in all that I create Hand lettering is the art of drawing letters to create an aesthetically interesting design. It's a relatively inexpensive hobby and a beautiful way to express yourself. This tutorial is an introduction to hand lettering for beginners. Let's talk about the supplies you'll need to get started. When selecting a paper, you don't want it to be too slippery, so copy paper isn't the best choice. You also don't want it to be overly textured because that makes it hard to control your lines. I prefer sketching paper because it has a little bit of grip while providing an adequately smooth surface. A beautiful end result starts with good drawing tools. Investing in two or three nice pens will significantly improve your work. Look for a pen that has permanent archival quality ink. It should also feature a precision tip and consistent ink flow. My personal recommendation is Sakura's Pigma Micron. It comes in many colors and a wide range of nib sizes. They're available at most stores that carry fine art supplies. You'll also need a pencil for sketching. A mechanical pencil is preferred for making lines that are fine and light. Make sure it has a good eraser. My favorite pencil is Sakura's Sumo Grip because it's comfortable to use and has an extendable eraser. If you're interested in adding color to your work, Sakura's Koi Coloring Brush Pens are the best investment you could make. The brush tip makes it easy to fill in large areas or to trace fine lines. It's helpful to first become familiar with the anatomy of a letter. Choose a font and study it carefully. Pay attention to the terminals of the letter. Does it have a serif? Is it a wedge? Or is it rounded? Look at the crossbars. Where are they placed in relation to the height of the letter? How are the tails finished? Are the bowls of the letters narrow or full? Is the letter stressed or does it become thicker along the curves? Now we'll practice lettering. Try typing the same short word in a variety of fonts. Use a pencil and straight edge to lightly draw three lines. The tallest one will be the cap height or where the top of the ascending letters will touch. The middle one is called the X height and is where the letters sit. The bottom line is the baseline where the descending letters touch. Some people like to draw additional lines for letter spacing or other guidelines. Use whatever you're comfortable with. Start sketching the rough outline of the letters with the pencil. Keep the size and spacing of your letters consistent. Erasing is part of the creative process, so don't be afraid to use your eraser. Next, trace the letters with a fine tip pen. Remember, perfection is not the ultimate goal. If that were the case, you could just print the quote. Rather, the goal is to create an engaging piece of artwork. Minor flaws can add charm and interest to the piece. Then erase all of your pencil marks. You can try filling in the letters or adding a pattern. Once you've practiced writing letters, you're ready to try creating a hand letter design. Because the text itself is the artwork, you have to consider not only what the text says, but what message the overall design gives. A good question to ask yourself is, if this were written in a foreign language, would I still want to stop and look at it? Ultimately, your design will be driven by your own aesthetic, but here are a few tips to consider as you begin. You can draw the eye by connecting words at the crossbar or tail. You may want to shape the text to reflect the message. Choose a font style that reflects the word's meaning. For example, love is in script and ice is in block. Consider whether color would benefit your design. 
You may want to add a simple illustration if it enhances the message. Try combining contrasting letter types, light and bold, tall and short, solid, empty, and patterned. You can further embellish your work with frames, banners, borders, and dividers, but I'll have to cover that in another tutorial. Print a free beginner's guide by clicking on the link in the description below. For more information about the products I used, please visit sakuraofamerica.com.